me, Mrs. St. Judge, in the Hills. Oh, no, I'm too excited to look in the book. I'll wait, thanks. Then is ship ahoy, my sailor boy. I love you. Come on, slug. Come on, eat it, will you? What's the matter? Ain't you hungry? Huh? Come on, eat it. Here we are, sailor boy. And I hope you drown. Ah, you ain't the first lady that ever said that to me. Ah. Us two on a freighter. Well. Hello? Uh, is this Mrs. Payne? Well, this is Lulu. Do you still want to buy the elephant? You do? Oh, well, I want a lot of money for it. Oh, for a special reason? Well, I want to buy a freighter and some nice clothes. Love? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you will? Oh, gee, that's wonderful. Well, no, I can't bring it tonight, but I'll bring it the first thing in the morning. Well, I'll tell you all about it when I see you. Goodbye, Mrs. Payne, and, and thanks. Everything all right? Uh-huh. Can I help you? Nope. Been washing myself for years. Then dinner will be ready in a half an hour. Okay, baby. But step on it here. I will. Very just sweet. Have it gone. Hey! Wanna see something funny? Speak away. Don't forget to wash behind your ears. Oh, quiet, will you? You're coming up town with us. Next up, I'm ordering myself some grub. I found a drugstore that sells wine tonic. No. Come on, it's all framed. You can come back later. Hey, we got three swell dames that's just dying to find out what a sailor does when he's watching the movies. What kind of dames is it? Well, yes and no. Mm, I'll make up your mind. Wine tonic and women, huh? Come on, let's get out of here, quick. Hey, now, bye, Tell the young lady I'll be back in a half an hour. <laughs> Tell her we'll all be back. Yeah, and I hope it's four years from now. That sailor's gone uptown with his friend. Hello? Said he'd be gone a half an hour, but I have my doubt. Oh, then he'll be back. I'm not worried. Say, hey, what's happened to you, Miss Lulu? Listen, you darling, I'm in love. With a good-for-nothing, worthless sailor? He's just wonderful. But, Miss Lou, don't say it, Lavinia. I'm too happy now. Hustle out and see if the biscuits are done. Well, if you say so, but I certainly wish I had used up that rat poison. Oh, This here chicken ain't gonna keep much longer. Where's your gum? Please take it back, Lavinia. You'll be here any minute. If a sailor's more than a half hour late for food, he's sure has gone forever. Don't say that, please. Well, honey. 
say, does he mean that much to you? There, there, child. You mustn't waste your tears over a sailor. Where the seas are waiting, join the Navy. You hear that? Get a wine, wine, you're loin in the Navy. Well, I guess maybe he went down to the pier with his friends. Maybe. Maybe he's done forgotten all about you. He couldn't forget the spring chicken. Tell me about that good for nothing, worthless Bob. Us has money, Miss Lulu and I, and we thank common sailors to go elsewhere and quickly. How come all this? Miss Lulu has been investing the proceeds from the sale of certain heirlooms, and while you all been sweating and slaving in the high seas, the money's been rolling in us. <laughs> Let me proffer my congratulations. Now that you was proffered, get out. Who is it? It's a Smith, but it ain't the right one. Why, Clarence. Leave him, Miss Lulu. Tell me, Clarence, have all the battleships come back? Yes, ma'am. And have the Liberty Parties all come ashore, all of them? Yes, ma'am. Admiral Smith seems very generous. They say he's going to get mad soon. Go on, Clarence. Get out of here. No, Lavinia. Take him out and get him something to eat. Even if we have closed shop, we still have something for our friends. Come on. He ain't no friend of mine. Come on, woman. Feed me. Feed me plenty. Come on. Come in. 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 Come in.
I brought an admiral with me just to make you obey orders. Roger, this is Lulu Martin. This is a pleasure, Miss Martin. How do you do, sir? I've heard of nothing mm -hmm. else but Lulu ever since we got back. <laughs> Come and get your wrap, dear. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, Mrs. Payne, I just can't go tonight. But Lulu, why? Well, he might come back, and if he does, I gotta be here. There ain't no chance him coming no more. He ain't coming back. You all just chasing rainbows. He ain't no rainbow. He's awful real to me. And I got a feeling he's coming back. Never felt no other way. Has he written to you? Oh, how could he? He didn't even know my name. Well, it does seem to me that now you'd aim to make a more brilliant match. I don't want no brilliant match. I just want him, and I want him bad. If you get him, he'll be bad. But, my dear, you only saw him once. Oh, it ain't the time you see a person that counts. It's what happens when you do see him. Well, Lulu, what, what did happen? Well, oh, my dear, what happened? He, he kissed me. Oh, it was a beautiful kiss. Well, sailors ought to know how to make them beautiful. Lordy knows they get enough practice. Maybe he's met someone else. Lots of things can happen on a cruise. Maybe he's married. Maybe, but he ain't. I know he ain't. Maybe his ship's sunk. Oh, it ain't sunk. And he ain't married. But Lulu... Stop saying those things to me. He'll come back, I tell you. He will, he will. Hush well, now, honey. Of course he'll come back. Oh, if he don't, oh, I'll... forgive me, Lulu. I'm a beast. And you really want your sailor? Really and truly. Then you shall have him. Roger, come here. What is it, Charlotte? Roger, I want to find a sailor named Smith. Oh, splendid. I have a large assortment of Smith. Uh, what's his name? Smith? What's his first name? Oh, gee, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> well, of course, uh... A Lula wants to find a sailor named Smith. I want to find him. I want you to find him. Well, I have some 400 sailors named Smith. Now, if you can suggest some way to find well, him... Well, gee, you ought to be able to figure that out. You're an admiral. Oh, uh, admirals know less than nothing. Uh, now, Charlotte, don't say that. You know, if we had a rogues gallery in the Navy, it'd be easy. Just look at the photographs until your Smith oh, popped out. a splendid idea. What? Get all the Smiths together in one place and look them over. How? Roger, do you love me? Of course I do. Then, would you lend me your flagship to give a party? For whom? For the Smith. Then, Lulu, you can take your pick. But, Charlotte, that's almost impossible. I'm glad you said, uh, almost. But, uh... It... Oh, Roger, do you want to see me remove our engagement ring? You win. I'll give your orders. Listen, everybody. Tomorrow night, I'm going to entertain all the Smiths in the fleet. So all of you are invited. I have to buy everything, including Smiths. Oh, my God. Gee, 